Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today we're going to be making a simple cardboard cone light. If you haven't seen any of my previous cardboard lamp videos, I highly recommend you make your way there first before you watch this one, especially if you're interested in making these cardboard lamps. I get into more detail on the tools and materials that I use and I also talk a little bit more about the process that I go through to make something like this. For this project, I wanted to keep the design as simple as possible, so I decided to go with a standard cone light design. I also decided that the overall dimensions would remain as small as I could keep it. So the overall width of it will be 6 inches at the base, and the height of it will be 8 inches maximum. Before we jump into the 3D model of this project, make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe for more videos like this one. Now with that, let me show you the design of this project. So the design of this cardboard cone light is very simple. It's basically a cone light, but I created a curve that goes from the larger circle at the bottom to the smaller circle at the top. Here you can see the typical opening that I create at the top for the light to sit within, and you'll see at the bottom just the standard cone light design. The design of this cone light is symmetrical all around, and because of its size and shape, it's actually going to help us reduce the amount of cardboard sheets that's necessary to create one of these. So now let me show you what it looks like in Slicer where we're going to cut this into all of the layers that come together. So this is what the cone light looks like in Autodesk Slicer, which is the same software that I use in all of my previous cardboard lamp videos. It basically takes the 3D model and slices it into all of the pieces that I need to stack together to create this cardboard cone light. If I go down to the Assembly Steps tab, you'll see that there is all of the cardboard layers that would come together to create the light. Now the one thing that I want to do when I start building this project is that I want to start rotating every piece as I'm stacking it so that all of the corrugation starts to twist as it goes up. You'll see this when I get to the build part of this video. The next step is to get all of the cut files for my laser cutter so that I can start cutting all of the pieces that'll come together to create this cone light. So to do that, I go to the Get Plans tab here, and I want to mention that you can export all of these files, open them up in another software like Adobe Illustrator, and reorganize the board to make them a little more efficient. I was able to reduce the nine sheets that you see here down to five by stacking some of the smaller circles within the larger ones. So now that we've gone over the design and the 3D model of this project, let's jump into laser cutting the pieces, and then I'll talk a little bit about how I'm going to assemble this cone light. Now that all of the pieces have been laser cut and organized like this, you can start to see how the cone light would come together. In all of my previous cardboard lamp videos, I always stack the corrugations so that they align going all the way up. For this particular project, I want to try something different. I want to take each of the pieces and rotate them slightly so that it looks like it's twisting as it's going up. Let me show you what that looks like really quickly before I start gluing all of this together.
So this is what it looks like when you twist all of the layers at roughly the same degree as you're stacking them up to create the cardboard cone light. Moving into the next step of this project, I'm going to be taking my time gluing every piece together and trying my best to make sure that each of the pieces are twisted at roughly the same degree. So now let's move into the build phase and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So that's how I make this simple cardboard cone light. I love the way that the twisting effect came out by rotating every piece of cardboard as I was stacking from the bottom to the top of the light. I rotated the pieces of cardboard a little more than I originally planned. And by doing that, it actually created more layers of that twisting effect as you look at it from the bottom to the top. In total, you can see I have about four different layers of that twist. I'd love to know what you think about this simple cardboard cone light design. Let me know in the comments section below and remember to like, subscribe and follow me for more.